hot as all get out out here and I'm drinking hot coffee. Is a safety razor the best solution for an average guy to shave? Well, I think a safety razor is. Come on now. You didn't think it was gonna be that easy, did you? Let's get into the lab and talk about it. Let's go. Welcome to Fitness and Beer. I'm Larry Powell and welcome back to the lab. I'm super excited today because we're gonna be talking about the double-edged safety razor. Now, the double-edged safety razor as we know it has been around since right about 1903 when it was invented by King Camp Gillette. Yes, that same Gillette. And Gillette is largely responsible for the current design with its protected blade with a double edge and ultimately having a disposable blade inside. Now, the concept of a safety razor had been around since about 1760 and is credited to a French cutler, I think he's French, by the name of Jean-Jacques Perec. However, it's Gillette's invention of the double-edged safety razor that by and large made shaving accessible to the common man. When Gillette came out with his disposable blades, which were also affordable, this was a game-changing moment that made self-shaving accessible to almost everyone. The double-edged safety razor remained the predominant method of shaving till right around 1970, and this is when the cartridge razor was invented. And shortly thereafter, around 1973, Bic came out with the fully disposable razor. And these two methods over time overtook what was the double-edged safety razor. However, there is a whole lot of history in this little product right here. And the question for us is, is this still one of the best ways and most practical and affordable solutions for the average guy to shave? Well. Let's go. The packaging style is classic, and inside you'll find a solidly built razor along with five replacement blades. You can open the head of the razor by twisting and removing the handle. The blade will go in between the two parts of the razor head. Overall, my first impression is it's a solidly built tool that has a nice feel and is going to last. Now, admittedly, I was a little bit nervous about shaving with the safety razor for the first time. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little bit nervous, but we're about to embark on our first ever shave with a double-edged safety razor. So, as you see, there's the blade right there. It's in and ready to go, and uh, let's get the show on the road. My process is to always start off with shaving my head. It's just how I do, and I couldn't really let go of my process. So I started shaving with shaving my big old chrome dome. And I was really surprised at just how smooth and efficient the single blade of the safety razor was. And I gotta admit, shaving with the safety razor felt like shaving, if you know what I mean. Whoa, I can't even lie. I really didn't expect to like the feel of it, but just in the first couple strokes, the handle and the razor itself is a lot heavier. However, the feeling on my head is not bad at all. And so far it feels like a pretty smooth shave. Now, it wasn't long before I ran into trouble. Now, what I learned about shaving with a safety razor is that you really need to know your face. You really need to understand where you have any uneven surfaces within the shaving area. Uh-oh. Trouble alert, I don't know if you can see. I've already got two spots where I'm, I'm bleeding pretty good there. It feels smooth, but if you have a bump and you're kind of unaware of it, just slice and you'll cut yourself up and become a bloody mess pretty quickly. Now, some of this can be alleviated by making sure that you prepare your face properly, both with hot water, and you might want to incorporate something such as a shave oil into your shaving routine in order to increase lubrication. All of these things can help. So I just finished my first activity with a double-edged safety razor. In this particular instance, we're talking about the Gillette King C. And what are my initial thoughts? It's a very smooth shave, but again, it's like shooting a basketball and it requires touch and practice. Then I was on to shaving my face, where I felt the razor performed better than on my head. 
Okay, so I just finished my first full shave with a double-edged safety razor. In this case, it's the Gillette King C. And what do I think? And boy, do I have a lot of thoughts that I wanna share. But I'm just gonna give you a couple quick first impressions. And one of the first impressions that I noticed is that shaving with a double-edged safety razor is efficient. It feels almost or as much efficient as shaving with your average four or five blade razor cartridge. However, there is a catch and that is this requires a little bit of touch. It's not something where you can just go in and just start breaking at your face. Instead, it kind of requires a little bit of feel. But those are my initial thoughts. And before we get any deeper into this, I need to try this razor out a few more times. And well, let's get back into the lab and talk about it. Let's go. So, what do I think of safety razors and is it a good solution for the average guy? I'm gonna start off by saying this. I think that shaving with a safety razor is an excellent, excellent solution for your average shaving enthusiast. But notice I said enthusiast. I think it might not be your best option for your average guy. Now, let me explain. I'm gonna use a Star Wars comparison. A double-edged safety razor, I would liken it to a lightsaber. It is a elegant and powerful tool when wielded by a user of the force. And in this case, the force is both process and patience. An elegant weapon for the more civilized age. And I would liken your average cartridge razor to a blaster, which is also gonna be an effective solution, I'll bet, a more generally effective solution, especially when wielded by somebody who is not a force user. And remember, the force is both process and patience. What I'm saying is more of you are gonna be Han Solo than Luke Skywalker. If you're a guy that just wants to get his shave done as quickly and as effortlessly and as thoughtlessly as possible, then a safety razor is not gonna be for you. However, if you're a guy that really appreciates the art of shaving and you're particularly in tune to the feel of the blade on your face, then a safety razor is something that you might find interesting and it may be worth taking a flyer on. I suggest doing your research, learning things such as what is an aggressive razor versus a non-aggressive razor, learn about some of the accessories that may help make your process a little bit smoother and easier. It is a large wormhole to go down, but it's worth going down. Shaving with a safety razor can also be a very affordable money-saving solution if that is your goal. Am I gonna keep shaving with a safety razor? Well, I'm gonna be honest with you. For just practicality purposes and my everyday shaving, probably not. I'm just gonna be real. Shaving with a cartridge razor is easier and it is more thoughtless. And for many of you out there, the last thing you need to do is add another process to your plate. If that's you, leave it alone. However, I'm in the unique position of being a razor reviewer and I crave new shaving experiences so that I can share them with you. And as a result, I'm sure there's gonna be more safety razor shaves in my future. We gotta address one more thing. Is shaving with a safety razor more manly? Come on now. How do you sound with that? The particular tool that you use to shave your face with doesn't rank really high on my list of criteria for being a man and especially on my criteria for being a quality man. Now that that's out of the way, I will say there is something inherently masculine about shaving, especially when it's a shaving process. If you're a person that can find some zen or find some sort of peace of mind in the process and that contributes some way to you by all means go for it and the truth is that i believe that the most manly shave is the shave that works best for you and if you find that to be a safety razor may the force be with you thanks a bunch for joining us until next time fitness and beer let's go